we are very much moving in the direction of the big one. And, uh, yeah. What, uh, what I'm going to say, it, Anthony Joshua, Tyson yeah. Fury. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be done. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> right, I'll, I've got a funny story on this. So Sky Sports um, asked me, who do I think will win? And um, I, I thought about it for a little bit. And on recent performance, I have to go Tyson Fury. The way he dealt with Deontay Wilder shows me there's more strings to the bow when it comes to Tyson Fury. You know, he's very comfortable on the back foot. Spiteful and dangerous on the front foot. He's got an awkward awkwardness that I, I've not really seen before in a big guy. So for me, there's that, that, that's a very... When I talk about uh, solving a Rubik's Cube, solving the puzzle that is an opponent in front of you, to solve that, try and beat that, it's got to be very difficult. But I did say, if anyone can beat Tyson Fury, and this not me sitting on the fence because I, I, I've gone with Tyson Fury, but if anyone can beat Tyson Fury, it's Anthony Joshua. That athleticism, the speed, the, the force, the power, everything he has... Um, could beat Fury, could un unlock that puzzle, solve that puzzle. But I, I guess what the issue is with Joshua, that he has looked a little fragile at times when he's been caught. And uh, with the confidence that Tyson Fury's got from that last fight with Deontay Wilder, you know he's going to let his hands go. And will, Tyson, will Anthony Joshua stand up to that power? Two, two men I massively respect. Um, and I... Pray that fight happens sooner rather than later. I see Anthony Joshua, right, about, what was it, before, about three weeks ago, I think, or maybe maybe a bit longer. And I've, I know Anthony Joshua, I know him, he's, you know, he's, I'd like to say he's a friend, um, and we've spoke since, and he, look, it's all, it's, it's sport, I know it's not a personal thing, I get it, you know. Um, and I'm in a car, I'm in my car, and I'm talking to my mate, and I'm in Barnet, and I've looked in my rear uh, view mirror, and it joshes by me. So it goes into two lanes and he drives up next to me. And I go, hey, put my hand out the window. And he didn't know it was me from the car. And um, he put the window down. He's going, Marco, how you doing, mate? 
you pick Fury. You pick Fury, man. <laughs> and uh, I was going, look, you know, I've got to, just from what I've seen last time, I look forward to you proving me wrong, though. You know what I mean? And um, I won't repeat what he said, but he went, trust me, Barker, I'm going to, I'm going to. Um, and then he drove off, and then I see him after at the Matron Bubble. Um, 